Now, if you know anything about my training method and production techniques, I'm a lazy guy when it comes to software. I want to learn the simplest, easy, best practices. I'm all about simplicity. Now, with that in mind, what I mean is I want to now see this. I'm just going to close this out for a second. I want to see the different types of options that I have built into the ultimatum theme just as a look-see, and then I can maybe build from there. So here's what we can do. I'm going to go back to my theme templates. Now, we can do a variety of different things. We can basically create some other templates, but we can just do this on the fly so you don't have to jump through hoops here. So I'm just going to go to the Edit menu, and if you remember from the first part of this video, right now I have my ultimatum response design theme. Incidentally, if I set this up to my regular theme, that might not be a bad idea either because eventually we're going to build an iPad and an iPhone template anyway. So once the person logs on with those different devices, they would see that particular theme. But the advantage of having this responsive is that it will resize to the person's computer, so computer screen or iPad screen. So technically, this would really work. But if you want it to be visually different, we're going to explore that in different subsequent videos by building a physical theme for the iPad, for the iPhone or different tablet or mobile devices. So here's what I'm talking about. Right now on the fly, I'm just going to experiment with my different layouts. Right now, this is my default bootstrap layout. So I'm going to come down here and save that. Come up here, refresh the page. And there is my default bootstrap layout, which is no different than my original theme because that's kind of what it looks like by default. However, if I go and pick a different, like say, this journal theme, Again, this all comes out of the Bootstrap 3.0. If you basically go online and look for Bootstrap 3.0, you will see these themes. And that's where it's getting it from. Okay, so this is just going to be visually different. Now, keep in mind we're logged in here, and that's why you're seeing this top information. So if you wanted to see what this page looked like by going to a new private window, you can do that and you're not going to see the top information. Now, keep in mind, these images aren't here, so that's why you're not seeing that, and of course, we would have to fix that. So let's go back here again, and let's change this to Hero. Now, Hero is actually one of my favorites. It's a little more interesting looking. It's got a gray background with orange type. So I'd get something like this, which is not bad, but you know, it's, it's, but I can modify this and I will share with you how I can modify this using subsequent CSS techniques and production properties. So if I come down here to pizza, then there is my pizza. If I come down here to beverages, there's beverages. Now, if you wanted to do this, if you wanted to physically select a different layout, so therefore when you're on beverages, you're gonna see the beverage slideshow. Or when you're on pizza, you will see a pizza slideshow. Or when you're on pasta, you're going to see a pasta slideshow. What you would have to do is define that particular page to have that particular layout. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's go back into here for a second. And let's go in here to our pages. Okay, and this is what I'm about to share with you, by the way. This is a WordPress thing. That has nothing to do with Ultimatum right now. This is a WordPress thing. So right now, our pizza menu, if I edit that, it's defaulting to our default layout. Now, what is our default layout? Where our default layout is whatever we set up here by default. However, if you come in here, if I pick this, this is the same as my default. Okay, I want to share that. I want to really drive that message home. Right now, this is my default layout. In fact, that's the only layout that I have currently. But if you had different layouts, then you can choose. In fact, let's actually do this, and we'll do that in our next video. What I want to do is target different slideshows for that particular uh, menu item. So with pizza, I want pizza, this pizza slideshow to come up first. For pasta, I want the pasta slideshow to come up first. So we'll do that in our next video.